Hey, what's up guys? Guardian here. Can you guys with a deck profile update on my Bastion deck. So, Bastion got some pretty cool stuff from the most recent set, Dragon Tree Invasion, set 9. And it's uh, it's pretty interesting. Uh, it got some pretty cool stuff. Uh, it got a double rare which can search Bastions from the top 7. Um, I'm actually not playing that in this deck. Uh, I did test it. Um, didn't really find a need for it. Um, but the other cards though, the other cards are pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, let's go into the deck. So first we have the ride line. Um, I just thought I'd lay it out in front of you guys right here. Cause you know what it is. Uh, yeah, nothing's changed. Uh, <laughs> yeah, usual bastion ride line. Nothing much else to say there. Uh, grid fours. Okay. We know what this is. Yeah. It's bastion prime. Uh, bastion primes. It's in. Um, this is our wing con. Uh, we want to make a board. We want to boost with everything. Uh, we want to make big numbers. And we want to unga bunga. Um, <laughs> yes. Um, the one thing I'll say about Prime is that uh, his triple drive is pretty nice. Um, it will actually keep you in the game a bit longer than you think. Um, you can actually fall yourself into some grind games sometimes, depending on how the game goes. But you are looking to potentially kill on turn 4, turn 5. Um, depending. Um, but I kept them in as a 4 of. Uh, I've seen some deck lists where they do 3, which I can definitely understand why. Um, but I definitely want to see this card um, rather than, you know, not seeing it. <laughs> so I want to play the 4 uh, for the consistency element. Um, and, you know, if push comes to shove, it's always a bastion name you can get rid of for your uh, for the skill. So, yeah, it is what it is. And then uh, next to him, I suppose, we can also put the two extra copies of the regular Bastion. Um, I feel like two was fine. Uh, with one of the new support cards in the deck, uh, there's actually a pretty cool line uh, where you can set up a Bastion on the top of your deck to pretty much guarantee uh, prime skill, which is pretty nice. So I do think two's fine, um, but I will say that three is uh, an option because sometimes the Persona ride can matter. Uh, if you don't have a great setup for your prime turn, uh, maybe going wide with the power um, with your Bastion, your normal Bastion, could actually be the more optimal play. Uh, so for that reason, you could play three if you want to, but I decided just to stick with the two uh, that I've always been doing, basically. So yeah, but I would consider the third one uh, if you want to experiment with that. So yeah, six Bastions in total. So we'll move on over to the other grade threes of the deck. Uh, so first, we are going to cover the the main guy, Alden, of course. Uh, why wouldn't we play him? Uh, yeah, draws two, uh, gets 5k every time he attacks. So, you know, he attacks twice, he gets 10 overall. Uh, one thing I'll say, though, with Alden, uh, especially with another card in the deck that I'm playing, the, the fact that he gets 5k just in general is really nice because it makes magic number columns uh, very easy to meet. Um, so Alden plus any of your regular 13k base grade 3s uh, will always give you a magic number for like 33 or 35, you know, depending if you're on Prime or the regular Bastion. Because that could sometimes matter, like 35 on the regular Bastion turn is really good when you're going first. Um, if your opponent is still on a grade 2 base, uh, you know, 10k power. It's asking for, you know, 30k guard for, a, you know, a 35k attack. So pretty good. Um, so yeah, the fact that he gets the 5k, um, obviously the whole scheme with uh, the whole Shabak with Alden is great. But the very baseline fact that he gets power uh, makes the columns really difficult to guard just in general. So yeah. Uh, and then next to him, we have... The new card that came out from set 9, which is four copies of Rondalia. Or Hammer Girl, as I like to call her. So, Rondalia is pretty cool because whenever... Uh, basically, it's like Refluke. You can put this card into the soul, and then it gives your Vanguard the effect, the continuous effect, that your Grade 3s have boost. So you're getting the Dark Strand effect, basically. Which is fantastic. Um, this card is so, so good, and it actually makes other cards a lot better which I'll get to in a bit. But yeah, um, we are now generating soul 
in order to get the dark strain like effect um instead of having to soul blast two now the benefit that dark strain had was that dark strain is still a body that stays there whereas rondalia actually goes into the soul so you do lose out on a grade three on board but you get a really powerful effect which i think is fine and also i love the fact that this deck is now like you can generate soul a bit more now since you're not just blasting it all away with your dark strain so you can actually expend the uh or you can spend the soul that you have from your ride line pretty gradually with your normal like soul blast one with alden like over the course of the game uh you do have other ways of splurging out the soul for other skills but it is nice to have it uh sort of a different way of playing the deck now we're not just getting rid of the soul altogether for dark strain all the time um we actually have some pretty you know viable soul blasting effects that are on cards um that are really really effective so yeah so i wanted to go over those um first before we go into the next package over here so first we have uh, one of the cards that got very very much better uh with rondalia which is three copies of spirette um so this card uh is really good because it gives the unit in front of it 5k power um so even when you're not boosting with this card it will still provide an additional 5k which is good especially when it comes around getting a defensive trigger which can come up sometimes uh alternatively it also has a drawing effect which if it's in the front row if it restands you can soul blast two to draw a card pretty nice so it's an alternative uh, way of drawing cards in the deck which you know if you have to use something like that it probably means you haven't seen alden yet right or maybe you've got an excess of soul and then you can get rid of some of it to get some more cards to hand that's also a thing but spare in itself um like i said before with alden um it's an extra 5k that's carrying on over so it's an 18k boost effectively to any of your 13 well any of your 13k grade threes but remember those are getting the 2k boost on bastion so the 15 technically um so you're making that 33k magic number again which you know 33k it's going to ask for two cards at minimum you know either you know a front trigger won't guard it since that'll be 33 and then obviously they've got to put something else down but even a pg you know that's they have to discard for a card for that so it's always going to be two cards 33k which is brilliant um and then next door to spare which i'd put in the same similar ballpark just because they both can provide boosting in a similar aspect but just a little bit differently uh three copies of honentaria so i was actually experimenting with this card when set seven came out um i thought it was like a you know maybe two of type of card but i actually decided to bump it to three um i do like how this card is an alternative counter blast just in case your opponent is denying you cb for the potential alden that you could have right i mean it's not far-fetched for them to think that you have the alden especially if they see it at any point um they might purposely stop damage so that you don't get the heavy pluses and start just you know <laughs> cranking in the grade threes to start being fierce um however with hon and Taria, um when you call this you counter blast uh call a grade three from your hand and then if you've got five or more units you draw one so this does include your vanguard which means when you call this you'll have your vanguard another card that you call from this effect so you'll have three so you just need to dedicate two more cards to the board and you can get that plus which is very very nice it's a nice alternative cb that we can use in case we are getting uh denied with cb for the alden and they just have a second skill which is during your turn if you have five or more re uh, sorry uh six or more units so a full board basically it gets boost so there are some situations where if you don't see your uh rondalias for the boost you have alternative ways of boosting in this deck which i really really like because you can get the boost with this just by having a full board and even if you can't physically boost with the spare air, you can still put it in the back row to carry on over that passive 5k to the front row unit right and that can still make a difference so yeah i think these three like three of each of these are a great package um i was actually considering at one point uh cutting the horn Taria out but i think having three of it to sort of facilitate as a backup to alden it's pretty nice to have and i like the fact that both of these are like 
draw and sort of boost effects as well. Uh, they're very, very flexible units. So love these cards. Uh, decided to play three of each of them. It's been uh, pretty nice. Pretty nice. All right. So um, now when we talk about the next few grade threes, uh, this is going to be sort of like a package, I want to say. So first we have two of this new common card that came out called uh, Revenant's Rush Dragon. Uh, before we get to what he does, I mean, you can probably see it, but we also have two copies of Embrace Dragon and two copies of the old order card, Form Up or Chosen Knights. So with this, um, this Revenant's Rush Dragon, I was testing this as like a one-off tech, but I instantly wanted to increase it to two once I saw the capabilities of it. So it's very simple. Um, basically, when it's placed on rear uh, from your hand, you Soul Blast 1. Uh, choose a grade 3 um, or greater card from your drop zone, and you get to put it on the top of your deck. Um, now, it's a grade 3 or greater card, right? So that does mean uh, you can put the order on top if you want to. But more importantly, this means that you can guarantee there is a grade 3 there, which means your Bastions will not whiff. <laughs> and trust me, after playing Bastion for a while, you will know that sometimes you can whiff. It's very far-fetched because you've got like 18 plus scared threes in the deck or higher. Um, so you'd like to think it's going to happen. You'd be surprised sometimes when you triple drive with a Bastion Prime and you don't see one. You just see triggers or perfect cards. And it's like, wow, if I got the grade three there, that would have changed things. So you have to kind of do weird plays where like, if you don't know the grade three's there, like you don't see this, you have to like take the risk of, do I attack with both my rears first before the prime um, to get the double restand? Or do I do one attack, then attack with prime, just in case I don't get the grade three, only get triggers and PGs, and at least then I can dump the triggers onto the stud rear guard, right? You have to do awkward things like that. But with Revenant's Rush Dragon, you don't. You just stack the grade three, you know it's there, sure you've like mitigated one of the drive checks to, you know, not be anything else but a grade three, but you're guaranteeing the prime restand, and that's the main thing, because that's your win con. Like, triggers are nice and all, but honestly, it's the massive amount of power that you can attack for in this deck, and the five attacks that you're going for. That's when, that's what's going to kill the opponent. Also, there was some cute interactions with this card, especially with the order card, which you might have noticed, which is, you get to draw a card with this. Um, as long as you've got, I think, yeah, three or more grade three units, uh, you get to draw one. So you can actually stack something with this that's like a piece that you need. Like say like the Hammer Girl, for example. Um, the, uh, what's her actual name? <laughs> I keep calling her Hammer Girl all the time. Uh, yeah, Rondalia. Uh, you know what I mean. Um, but you could stack that maybe and then draw into it with this to set up a big boost turn, for example. Like maybe you need that. Um, maybe you want to stack the Embrace Dragon, for example, which is why this is here. Because you could then either drive check or draw into it knowing that you're getting shield back to your hand to survive the next follow-up turn from the opponent that could also be a thing um also very sickening uh, <laughs> is one thing i love with this is that when it comes to the bastion prime uh sure you need a grade three right you also need a bastion uh either from your soul or from your, from your hand what if you don't have one well you can stack it on top of the deck get the grade three and the Bastion name to set up Prime. So, yeah. This card blew my mind in terms of how it works, the simplicity of it, and just the nature of like being able to recycle something and then draw into it with this is just disgusting. Um, so, yeah, I definitely think you should be playing at least one or two of these. Um, that's up to you, but do try this card out. It's fantastic. Uh, of course, the Embrace Dragon is nice for some extra shield for early game and late game. Uh, 10k from your grade 2 turn onwards, and 20k when you're on Prime, which is really, really nice. Uh, and then the order card, uh, this thing's uh, <laughs> this thing's stupid. Um, so again, similar line to if you are the CB denied with your Aldens, uh, this is a backup because there's a CB1 and a Soul Blast 1. Um, so if you have four or more uh, grade 3 regards, uh, well, grade 3 units, uh, this basically allows you to give 5k to a unit, Fixing your, like, Vanguard column, usually, is what I tend to do. And then you get a draw card, so it replaces itself. And you also get a drive check on your Vanguard. That means your Prime 
is going to be quad driving in this deck. Pretty scary stuff. And uh, yeah, it's actually quite nice to be using this again. Uh, I actually cut it out for a long time because I kept getting sick of like my ride line revealing this from like the fort when I ride rooks on top of it. Um, you know, seeing an order card, it just gets binned. Whereas, you know, you'd prefer to get something uh, to the board. But I don't mind two copies. Uh, I've seen some lists where they play three and it's kind of clutch, but I think two is a bit more comfortable for my liking. So it is what it is. Um, yes, definitely try out this uh, Rush Dragon. It's really, really nice. Uh, really, really nice. So that is it for the Grade Threes. So we finally got through them. So we'll speed run through this next bit because it's pretty simple. Uh, we have our four usual PG. Uh, don't really need to explain this. Um, I will say some people have been trying the Blitz Order in this deck. Uh, I know it doesn't work when you get to Bastion Prime because you need to be a Grade 3 Vanguard, but they kind of like it because it's pretty good against some matchups where they have like awkward guard restricts like Flagberg because um, it can technically still work whilst you're on the Grade 3 Bastion, uh, grade three bastion but... I don't know, dude. I, I just prefer sticking to the regular one since it just works all the time. You know what I mean? So I'd prefer not to have one of my PGs just die on me. So yeah, it is what it is. Uh, triggers, we have, of course, over trigger is just a win button in the stack. So there it is. Uh, we have four crits with the Gurgant one. Uh, the four effect crit, which honestly, I was thinking about cutting at one point just for another 5k vanilla because sometimes when you call it, uh, through the right line, the 5k boost can actually matter sometimes, but I actually quite like the Blade Feather, just because it gives you that extra soul that you can use for soul blasting effects later, like an extra draw from Spare, for example, so that's pretty nice, so, but you can change that if you want to. Uh, three draw triggers, just because I want pieces, I want grade threes, I want to see my Aldens, you know, you can try fronts, I get fronts, fronts also work, but yeah, um, I just want pieces, so I stick with the draw triggers here. Um, and then final trigger is just the four heal. Um, you can play effect once if you want to, uh, depends on your meta, but I just like sticking to the regular heals. They always work, you know, 15k is always nice against every matchup, rather than uh, rolling the dice to see what you go against. It depends on what's in your local environment, what you see a lot, and uh, you can flex around that. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the deck. So that is uh, the updated Bastion deck um, with the new additions that we got. Um, it's also pretty nice to be using like older cards like the Order again. Uh, I quite like that. Uh, but yeah, having the uh, this Rush Dragon is really cool. Um, and then mixing it with like, some older support. But yeah, honestly, this uh, new Grade 3, the Rondalia, um, really, really helps the deck. Uh, the fact that you're now generating soul now to then spend it on other soul blasting skills is actually made a brand new dynamic for this deck. And, you know, Dark Strain's not in this, so that's new. Uh, but yeah, you could probably still make the deck with Dark Strain in it if you want to, but I quite like, I, I quite like this direction. So yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the little bit longer than usual Bastion deck profile. Uh, I wanted to go a little bit more in depth with this one just because I've been theory crafting it a lot with the new support. And I quite like where it's at. Um, tell me guys what you think about it in the comment section below. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Uh, deck logs in the description as always if you want to just a quick glance at the deck. And yeah, I will catch you guys in the next video, whenever that is. Um, you know, at least with Bastion, um, we don't have to worry about promos, right? So yeah, it's always nice to have this deck on hand. But yeah, that's going to do it for me. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Alright, this is Guardian 2 5 Signing out.